Hey everybody and welcome. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, I'm going to answer a viewer's question about having multiple dialog boxes on the screen at the same time. Before I go any further, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. That really helps me out. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can visit the Patreon link in the description below, or you can just become a member by hitting the join button next to the subscriber button. So let's get started then. So the original question was, can you have multiple lines of dialogue displayed on the screen in different boxes and it's not a function i'd have ever really used so my answer to that was no it was probably unlikely but another user pointed me in the direction of a function that rempy has and so i looked into it and after a little bit of i want to say jerry rigging i've managed to get it to work just fine so here we are i've got the code here because I don't want to start typing it as I go along to too many typos and all that sort of thing. So instead I'm going to talk you through the code that I've created and explain how it works. So we've created a new screen called multiple underscore say, and it takes a third property. It takes who, what, and multiple. And multiple is a tuple that Rempy generates when you declare multiple lines of dialogue and that's done by at the end of the line of dialogue saying multiple equals two multiple equals two so in the case of these two di lines of dialogue should appear at the same time and then these two should appear at the same time so rempy when you say this rempy will send a tuple through to the say screen and it will say it will tell you the block that you're going to use and then the total number of blocks so it'll be in this case it will be 0 comma 2 or 1 comma 2 so we actually access that by saying if multiple if the first variable inside that tuple is 0 or is 1 sorry then we're going to use this style prefix or if it's 2 then we're going to use this style prefix and then the rest of the say screen is just how you want to do it in if you follow the instructions in the previous video about creating awesome dialogue boxes then you'll have more or less the same code that I have here. And then all we've got is we've got two different styles assigned to that window. So in the first one, we've got the XPOS set at 1580. And then in window two, we've got the XPOS set to 10. And now if we were to run that code, you can see we've got two lines of dialogue appearing on the screen at the same time. And that's how it works. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've left the code on the screen for long enough that you should be able to pause and copy it if you so choose. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.